want to go. My boys just left and I always just feel so sad after they're gone. I don't show it because I don't want to burden them with it, but I feel sad and it feels very lonely. Don't get me wrong, I like my solitude, but um, it's just so sad when they leave. It's this feeling of like, um, kind of like emptiness, you know? I went to sleep last night with my eye makeup, well, all my makeup on because I was on the couch and I was on YouTube and you know how you get carried away on YouTube. But um, yeah, and then I got really tired and I just went up to bed and that's a no-no, I know, but. It just happens. Now I'm going to have to take it off, take a shower, put it back on again because it's a new day. It's Thursday on my vacation and I'm starting to feel like the week is slipping away from me already. <sighs> my husband got up early and went to play hockey, which is, I cannot believe it. He has been saying, I'm going to get up early and go play hockey when they have open ice at the ice rink. And he never makes it. Never. He's just not a morning person and he can't get up. This morning I heard somebody walking around down here and I thought it was my son. My husband came into the bedroom and said, I'm going to the play hockey. I thought, oh my God, no, you did it. So he's gone for a few hours, a couple maybe. So I decided to do laundry and get some shopping done. I have to do some grocery shopping and... Um... What else? Woo! That sun is bright. I wanted to uh, go see that movie, La La Land. You know, sometimes when I'm, it's a weekend or something and I'm, I have nothing to do and I just feel like getting out, I might go to a matinee all by myself. Yeah, and these days, if you go to the theater in the middle of the afternoon, there's like three people in the theater with you, so... It's not, you know, and I, I tend to not feel weird about being there by myself because, you know what, who cares? I actually, I actually kind of like it because then nobody's talking to you or anything. Like when my husband comes with me, he sometimes likes to chit chat in the movie theater just to make comments and I can't concentrate. So, um, yeah, it's kind of nice to just sit there and watch the movie and. He, he would never like a movie like that, so I'm not going to make him go to something like that. Just like I wouldn't want to go see some action movie that I wouldn't really appreciate. So, um, yeah, I think I might try. I don't know. It just depends how the day goes. <clears throat> I like to film when it's bright, you know, daylight, sunshine, because then it'll give me the best light. I filmed a video last night, but I think I might redo it just because it, the lighting at night in my room with the... <clears throat> excuse me, with the, uh, you know, the incandescent lights, is it, it doesn't really make very good light, so. Oh, my lips are so dry. They always are. Anyway. Yeah, so that's, that's my day. I have nobody here for once. The house to myself. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do to maximize this. But I suppose I have to do the, the whole hygiene thing and put some cream on these eyes for goodness sakes look at that I am enjoying my coffee <clears throat> in my gigantic mama bear mug that my younger son got me for my birthday I mean it's as big as my heed so yeah, <clears throat> that's it. Hope you guys are having a good week. We have no plans for New Year's Eve. None. Zero. We went from having too many plans to having none. So I guess it's just going to be a quiet night at home. My son will be at a party at one of his friend's houses in the city. And <clears throat> we just don't like to go out. We never do. We usually spend it with family or friends. And this year, all of our family and friends are busy. So 
that'll be it. I am so washed out and I cannot seem to clear my throat. <clears> throat> Excuse me. I don't know what the deal is, but both of my sons are sick and I don't seem to be catching it, but I've got this throat clearing problem. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I gotta get moving. I can't just sit here like yesterday and waste the day away. Actually, yesterday we went to the mall and we looked for shoes for my husband. Oh my gosh, what a feat that was. We ended up walking out of there without any and we ordered them online on Zappos. Because after his toe surgery, we are figuring out that his right foot, no, left foot, which is the foot he had, um, the toe he had fixed, the swelling is not completely down. So all of a sudden, no shoes fit him. Everything's too tight. So we figured out he needs a wide width. And there are just no wide widths to be found in anything that he likes, which he just likes black, uh, black athletic shoes. So we found the ones that he likes, and we tried on another similar style in the same brand that we did find in a 10 wide. And he tried them on and they felt okay. So we found the one that he likes on Zappos uh, in the wide width and we ordered them and they're going to be delivering tomorrow. So that's really quick. Free shipping and everything. Um, I found some ASICs that I need when I have my foot surgery because they recommend having ASICs because they have the best support. Um, <clears throat> They had one that I liked, but it looked like it had been returned and it was the only size nine. So I went online and I ordered them from Amazon. So those will also be delivering tomorrow. We'll have a flurry of shoes delivering to our house tomorrow and uh, along with other things. And I've been trying to get the little gift card from Dunkin Donuts out there for the UPS driver, but it seems like every time he comes, I'm not here and I forget to put it out there. And so hopefully, Today I have something coming and tomorrow we have a bunch of stuff coming. So hopefully I'll remember to put that out there because it's hard, you know, with the mail delivery person, mailman, mailman, hello, you can just put it in the mailbox. But the, the UPS guy, you never know when's he going to come. Do I put it out there on the ledge where he usually drops stuff off? Will he see it? I have to put something on it so it won't blow away. It's like this whole process and I, I don't quite know what to do. So, alrighty guys, I'm trying to get into this flow of making regular videos because for me, it seems like I'll make one or I'll make two and then I'll forget all about it. I'll forget all about filming, I'll forget, you know, and I'll just get into this groove of watching videos and everything and then I'll say, you know, I really need to make a video. So I'll make one and then I'll forget about it again. So I'm trying to get into this regular, it's like a thing. You have to think about actually turning on your camera and filming and it just doesn't seem to come naturally for me. So I'm trying to do that because I really want to um, continue this. It's, it's kind of, whoa, I almost dropped my phone. It's really fun and um, I really like communicating and um, interacting with you guys. And I really appreciate all the support that you give me, and I think you are so, so sweet. I've never encountered so much kindness as I have on YouTube. And I hope that doesn't change because there are just some real horror stories going on. And I just, I can't imagine, you know, having to uh, go through that. But I don't know. I just, I just hope that, that I can escape all of that. But anyway, I know I'm talking with my hands because that's what I do, and I'm shaking the phone. That is a no-no when you're filming. I have to learn how to keep my hands at my sides. There I go again, shaking the phone. <coughs> anyway, it's almost over. I'm gonna have to put you away. Why am I hugging Santa Claus? That's really weird, okay. Finally getting around to getting my face on and I just wanted to uh, talk to you guys about this mascara. I 
struggle so much with mascara. I'm always in search of finding the one that works best for me. My lashes are not the shortest lashes, but I, I feel like they're not thick. So if I get a mascara that gives me volume and then, you know, clumps them all together, I don't like that because then I get that little spidery look. What I like is length and separation of the lashes so that they look like they're, I don't know. See, they look kind of, they get to look very sparse and, and like clumpy together. So this is Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I love how this looks when it first goes on. I think it's amazing. It gives me volume. It separates my lashes. It just looks awesome. But I think something does not agree with me because... I know I've talked about this, I think, before. But what happens is my eyes get really itchy, right? Shortly after I put it on. So I put it on in the morning, I'm driving to work, and then all of a sudden my eyes kind of just are irritated. And then and then if I forget about it, it kind of goes away. And then by late morning or like lunchtime, I look in the mirror and I've got raccoon eyes. It's all moved from my lashes underneath my eye and for some reason it doesn't want to stay on. I don't know if I should maybe try the the um, waterproof one. Maybe that'll stay on better. I don't know if it's the stuff I'm using, you know, my... Um, I'm really not using concealer anymore that much. I'm just using... Can I still get on my knees here and see you? Yeah, maybe that's better. Um, <clears throat> maybe if I... Uh, no, where was I? Hello? Um, I'm not using concealer. I was using this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I think it's a little dark for me for concealer. I probably should have gone one step lighter because I, I have finally learned that your concealer is supposed to be one shade lighter than your, you know, your foundation. So, plus this is very thick and kind of oily. And sometimes I think maybe it, it settles into my lines. I don't know. I have a lot of lines under the eyes. So it's better if I keep it light. Sometimes I feel like, and yeah, you still see the bags, but what are you going to do? They're there. They're impossible to cover. It's hereditary for me. And I also don't get enough sleep. But that one just, I sometimes use this, but then every time I use it, I say, I can't use this anymore. So... Um, the other one that I really actually have been loving is this NYC, um, what is it, NYC Big Bold Volume by The Lash. And I really, really like this one, the way it goes on. But when I bought it, I'm, I'm such a dope, I'm looking... And I, it was right next to the Wet n Wild, and I thought I was getting Wet n Wild, and I wanted to get that because of the cruelty-free, but that's what the brush looks like. It's just kind of, it's really nice. It goes on really, really nice. It lengthens, it separates. I really like it, but I don't think it's cruelty-free. It doesn't say cruelty-free on it, and I really wanted to stick with cruelty-free brands and items. But as I said, I thought this was Wet n Wild when I got home. I said, NYC, because it was right next to it. And I thought I was getting Wet n Wild. So I did use it because I don't want to waste. And now I'm running out, and I haven't been able to find anything I like as much as this. So I'm at a dilemma here. I'm a big, big dilemma. In the meantime, while I was using that, I picked up a couple of different ones. And this is the one I think I like the best. This is the Milani Lash Trifecta. Lengthens, curls, and separates. And this does all of that. <clears throat> the brush is very, very small and it's got a slight curve to it. And I think this one's okay. I've been using this one because this one really has dried out. I can't, I just can't use it anymore. It's getting clumpy and it's falling in my eyes and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to continue with this and then maybe continue to search for good ones. And maybe I'll repurchase this. I don't know, but I really, really don't want to use anything 
you know, unless it's cruelty free. I just, it just, it bothers me guys. It really bothers me. Um, so yeah, I've got, I've got the full face on now. As soon as I finish putting my mascara on, I got something in my eye. Don't you love that? You get everything perfect and then there's something in your eye and then you're like picking at it, picking, trying to get it out. And then before you know it, you've ruined your makeup. So, and this is the weirdest thing. I had to get down on my knees in my bathroom. So I wanted to um, show you this. I love this. I was talking about this in a recent vlog and I did get this from QVC. It finally arrived and it has a better spritz than the travel size one I got or the sample one I got. But I love this, how it just gives like this glowing, dewy finish on your face when it dries down. It's a hydrating essence mist and setting spray with Echinacea Green Envy. I guess that's a thing these farmers have discovered and they, they grow and everything's natural and I just love it. It's so cute, the brand Pharmacy, F-A-R-M-A-C-Y. But, so I just, Spritz it on and it's like a setting spray. And it just doesn't, you know, it takes away that powdery look from your makeup. Because after I put on my um after I put on my foundation or my BB cream, I mean my CC cream, which is what I usually use as foundation, um, I put on it's still drying. I put on bronzer and you know blush and so you end up with the powdery finish so anyway now it is time to do my hair so I gotta do something with this I don't know what I'm gonna do yet okay my hair is done now all I need to do is potentially change out of this but maybe I shouldn't because I'm spreading the word this is what I used my Callista Tools Perfector, which I love. You can make any hair you woke up with look better. That's what I love about this thing. And it's just so easy to use. I know, I made a video when I first got it, which was a wreck. And I got some comments, but you know, in all fairness, I was just trying it out for the first time and I thought it would be fun. I wasn't trying to be a professional, so. But I've gotten a little better with knowing how to use it. And it's just that my hair is a weird length right here, I think. It's like, I can't get this little bit. I want it to go under, but then it wants to go back this way a little bit because it's a little too long. So I need to cut that somehow to make it a better length so that it all flows. So I have flow, like my son says. All right, guys. I hope having flow doesn't mean something bad because if it does, I don't know what it means. Well, here we are at the end of the night and I really didn't vlog pretty much after that. I filmed my um, Dooney and Burke collection and then I went shopping to Target. I finally got some of those groceries that I needed and um, let's see, what else did we do? We took my car into the shop so it's there now so tomorrow we will get the bad news on everything that needs to be fixed and then we actually stopped and visited with the grandbaby grandbaby Noah that was fun um, he was awake a little bit more this time and then sleeping a little bit and awake and sleeping and I guess he doesn't sleep very long at a, at a time so um, that was a lot of fun and then after that we just came home and heated up some leftovers and now I'm just relaxing so tomorrow more family stuff and Saturday night is our exciting New Year's Eve night at home and yeah so it's a good day my vacation's almost over yeah so but anyway, I wanted to thank you guys for watching, and um, I hope you all have a great rest of your night. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.